What's good everyone, it's your boy Richard Wong, aka RW, back with another video and it's Friday, so you know what that means, free sample Friday is here. So I'm going to break down the sample that I made, and of course, free download link in the description. But before we get started, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe for more videos. Let's get it. First, let's play the sample. Pretty simple I got that dark vintage vibe and as you can see it's not a full composition but it definitely has like the early workings of one but it definitely has all the elements you really need to flip it and turn it to beat so with this sample it kind of stepped away from VSTs and stuff like that and went with more one shots but there is a bunch of processing on all the sounds so let's get to it first I started with this Lotus preset it's from uh, Kill September's Mercury 3 one shot kit and uh, it sounds like this without any effects Super analog sounding sound, and it's pretty simple chord progression. It's a uh, we're in B minor, and it's just a one four five one chord progression. Then I added this halftime with the effects all the way down, which gives you the, the stutter sound. That little, ooh, ooh. really nice way to introduce textures without adding some. And then I added this EQ, just getting rid of the lows. It was a little muddy in this area, so I scooped out two fifty. If your sounds ever sound a little muddy. That's, that's where you need to go, the 2 to 300 range. Wolf compressor for some compression, wild control, just to you know give that tape feel, give it some movement, and shaper box, just for a sidechain. And together it sounds like this. Next, um, another sound from Kill September's pack, it's this pluck without effects, it sounds like this. It does continue, but you get, the, you get the gist of it. I'll extend it out though for the processed version. So first we started this EQ. Again, got rid of the lows, a little bit muddy. Got that two to 300 range cut. And then got rid of some of the highs as well. Next is API. So what I like to do is I like to cut using a digital EQ, like just a regular channel EQ or a fab filter. But when I do boosts, I like to use analog emulations. And this API, I really like how the high end sounds. So I have a high end boost up here just to give it a little more brightness. Next, I added this tape delay. This is on the Distorted 201 Ping Pong preset. I just adjust the dry wet. Next, good hurts lossy just to you know degrade the sound a little bit. Finally, a shaper box, again, just for a sidechain. Next, as you can see, it's named the same thing because I don't remember how I did it. I'm not even going to lie, but I processed this pluck originally so much that it turned into this. This is the pluck. I think, I'm pretty sure I used like shaper box or something, but if you asked me to recreate it for you right now, I wouldn't be able to without having to try to figure it out. I heard that when I was processing the pluck and I was like, yo, that would be a really nice texture to put under this. So I bounced it out, put an EQ, got rid of the lows, got rid of the highs, and again, get rid of some muddiness. But the muddiness on this one was in the 200, a little bit under range. So that's why I have a cut there. And another shaper box for a side chain. I just wanted to give this whole thing some movement, give it that sample chop feel. It sounds like this. Next, I add this bass. This one's from the Ebby Heartless one shot kit, I believe. No effects, it just sounded good by itself, so I didn't need to put any effects on it. Sounds like this. Now, the bass is what really gives it that groove, gives it that bounce and just makes it feel good. So then I added these textures. I had this little um, vocal texture thing. And all I did for that is add a tape delay on the 1.8 ping pong delays preset. For this one, I definitely pulled on the dry wet and I changed this, I believe to 116. 
now let's go to the vocals. Um, these are my vocals. These vocals were inspired by uh, this vocal texture right here. So I did kind of follow that melody, but I added to it. And the vocals by themselves sound like this. So on each individual track, I essentially had just cut out the lows, I believe. All oh, these two, I just have an alter boy, just to give rid of the, just turn the format down and increase the drive. And then this one, I have a little alter boy as well, and a light doubler preset on the chorus dimension D, just to give it some more width and make it sound a little bit wider. Now let me play it without the effects, actually. <laughs> As you can hear, really boxy, really boomy. So I kind of wanted to fix that. And with this chain, I kind of had an interesting mindset when going through it. I'll explain it. First, I got rid of the lows. This is more of like a mic correction move. Just because um, you can tell, you can hear it. I was really close to the mic. I pulled out the lows. And then I added this UAD Oceanway Studios just for some reverb. I've been really liking room reverb on my vocal samples lately. So I went with this. And now I know a lot of people would put reverse at the end of their chain. But the way I thought about it is, if I'm recording at this studio, the room noise would be in the microphone before it hits the gear that processes it. And that's why I had the reverb so early in the chain. Next, compression, fourth compressor. Pretty much just adjusted it until, you know, it sounded good to me. Bandpass narrow, get rid of the lows, get rid of the highs. It hurts lossy, just to degrade the sound a little bit. I really like this preset right here. I used it a lot, and then um, I changed the amount. Finally, shaper box, side chain, of course. So on the master, I had the TR5 Tape Machine 99 plug-in on the Super Analog preset, but as you see, I did adjust it, changed the output. I think I switched it to uh, 456 tape, and I think that's it. I'm not 100% sure what else I tweaked, but you know, I did start with the Super Analog preset. Let's play before and after. Super subtle, but I feel like it adds this nice warmth, nice glue to the track, and uh, that's all I really needed. But that's gonna be for this one. As always, follow me on my social media, check out my other music platforms, all linked in the description. Download the sample for free, link in the description as well. But before we go, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe for more videos. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I tend to respond to almost everyone, so don't be afraid to leave a comment. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening. See you guys next time. Peace. They don't know what it takes for you to chase your dreams. All these sacrifices don't know what it brings This just feels so right, feels so right, yeah This just feels so right, feels so right, yeah Blinded by the lights in the limousines But all I care about